flying. This will be our first time seeing uh, Mr. Martin Jr. here, Sean Martin at uh, New Line Cage Fighting. Comes in sporting a, a record with two fights, 0-2. Oh uh, but he's coming in against a, a guy who we've seen at New Line a handful of times in uh, Nicholas Lyons. Nicholas Lyons uh, had a rough start uh, going 0-2, oh but then has been able to string together some, some victories and, and make him get himself here to 2-4. Uh, I think if you include his grappling wins, he's on like a four-fight win streak. I agree. He's yeah. a two-fight MMA win streak. He's won, I think, two in a row in grappling. The kids turn the corner. And you can tell that he's taking training more seriously. He's training with good gyms. He's doing good work. Uh, I actually cornered against him one of those early losses uh, when he fought Luke Lago, or Lego. Sorry, I can't say Luke's name right. I apologize. Um, <laughs> but uh, we saw him uh, kind of look a little nervous in the cage and get put away by Luke a little bit early. Um, but we've seen him really start to get some uh, experience underneath of him and, and uh, start to come into his own a bit. And his body has changed. He's looking a little bit stronger. He's been putting in the work. You know, he's uh, he's a guy I think I don't think he was happy with his record. I think he has something to prove, and he's been doing it. And we see a lot of those kind of guys, right, like the Eric Mon style of like, you know what, they have some fights, and there's, those can go one of two ways. You can either take a couple hard early losses, and you can you can just stop fighting, or you can start training hard, and you can turn it around. The next thing you know, you're beating up Colin Caprini. There you go. Taking more years off of my liver than if I was an alcoholic. Nick Lyons is a fun guy, too. He's always got a good attitude. Win or lose, he's a happy camper. And I like guys like that. It reminds me of, like, Alistair Overeem. Yep. Alistair Overeem was always at the top, but he took plenty of losses. He just kept coming back. Like, he would constantly just go back to the drawing board, keep winning fights, be back in title contention. And then although always hovering around UFC, I mean, he had UFC title shots. He was never quite able to make that work because he got there a little bit later in his career. But uh, you saw Alistair string that uh, K1 Grand Prix victory together where he was able to beat Badr Hari and uh, some really good fighters. And Nick looks comfortable in here. He looks ready. And for this bout, this will be a middleweight. Representing out of the blue side of the octagon, wearing the maroon trunks, Sean Martin Jr. Sean Martin Jr. looks like a powerhouse. His he looks in good shape and he looks very strong. Representing out of the red side of the octagon, wearing the black trunks, go they touch gloves and we are underway Ooh, big right hand by Lyons and he get dives in on a double but now if he can get his hands connected here against the cage we might see some success here I think Martin's put a stop to that though but he, he's, he's starting to on his knees he needs to get back up he's threatening that guillotine he's threatening that guillotine but I think he's going to need more than to threaten it Lyons isn't fighting the hands at all he should be fighting the hands right I can't now. quite tell what configuration it might be high wrist on that far side but he's uh he definitely doesn't have cup and saucer he's, grip here he's, uh, he's deep under the neck though and Lyons is doing nothing about it and we saw that with Josh Barnett versus Ben Rothwell. Josh Barnett felt so comfortable there, he just hung out until it was too late. That's what's going to happen here if now, Lyons, Lyons doesn't do doing something. It, he's doing a good job taking that right arm up over the shoulder. That is the classic jiu-jitsu self-defense, but now he lets that go to throw some punches in it, and That's he gets it. ready to tap. And we see he just hung out there too long. Yep. You have to address that guillotine grip. I'm. That's my favorite choke, and you can't just hang out there. I don't care. You have to respect people's guillotine. And you can see from, uh, it looked like Lyons might have had some pretty restricted blood flow there for a second based on the way that he reacted after the stoppage. Beautiful work by Sean Martin Jr. He zeroed in on that neck very early on when Nick, uh, Nick shot that double leg from the outside. Nicholas Lyons landed a nice uh, leg kick there at, to start that exchange off, but...
We see the two men exchanging some words, I believe, of sportsmanship there. And for this match, we have the winner, 56 seconds into the first round, by DMT. So, your winner, Sean Martin Tudor. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Sean Martin Jr. My friend, that was a, an absolutely beautiful, beautiful guillotine. Talk me through it. So now, this is your first win with New Line. How are you feeling about that? Excellent, man. I just won my last fight, but I went to the ground, the ground with the experienced ground guy. I had him beat on the feet the whole time. This is, I don't want to hurt the experienced ground guy. You know, Nick Lyon said you had that canteen grip the whole time. It's like you didn't respect him. He didn't fight the hands. He hung out there too long, and you got the beautiful submission out of it. You got anything to say to him in front of this Lexington crowd? Thank you.